Hey guys, here we are at Sebring for a one-hour multi-class race. And before I show you what happened here, I just want to sh uh, show you a little information about this LMP1 car here. So he qualified third without even putting a lap time in, and the pole got the 34.9. However, when we look at his best lap times, he only got a 43 and then stayed in the mid to high 40s. So on his average lap, he's around a mid 45, while the, his class leaders are getting 34. So he's around 10 seconds off the pace already. So he's very slow throughout the track. But let's see, maybe he's just going slow and being safe around the track. So anyways, now I'll show you what happened. So on lap two, he overshot that corner, just got in the grass, then got in the wall. And then it was weird, he kind of escaped by grinding on the wall for some reason, so that's a bit weird, but he eventually did get back on track, and I'm just going to skip to my on board, and you can see what happened in the next lap. So he's an LMP1 car, I'm only an LMP2, which is a much slower, around 10 seconds a lap, and here's my perspective. So there the LMP1 car is, ahead right in front of me. Then he seems to let me by, which is a bit weird, but okay, I, I go for the spot. And as he's a faster car, he then overtakes me back on the straight here. So he let me by, then I overtook him, then he overtook me again. So now we're going to the final corner here, and he's going to go way... He's going to lose control, hit the inside wall, slide, and now I'm going to repass him again. So, it definitely looks a bit uncomfortable. Now we're going to switch back to him. We're not going to ride his on board, but I'm just going to skip forward a little bit in this lap. So, definitely not really knowing how to drive this car, nor the track as he hits the inside wall there on lap three. <laughs> now we're just going to skip a bit more forward here. And he's still been able to catch up a little bit to us. But as we're back to where we were just about last lap, staying right on my bumper here, gets on the car. Straight up misses the braking zone, and once again straight lines the wheel and then overshoots it in the grass. So, this is only part one of part five. Luckily it didn't take us out yet, but uh, yeah, definitely a slow and reckless driver. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed and make sure to check out part two. Thanks for watching.